Hello, welcome back. Uh, today is a maker's video. I am busy with a swap on a local Facebook group and the theme of the swap is reduce, uh, reuse or recycle uh, with reduce being the size of the journal. So it's a mini journal, uh, no bigger than, I think it's about six by eight centimeters, something like that. And at first I thought I would just alter some puzzle pieces because I had cleaned up uh, my little girl's room and this was a <laughs> Peppa Pig puzzles, and they're quite a nice size. The pieces, um, they're about seven, seven centimeters. So I decoupage them with serviettes, and then I put on some foiled bits. Um, and then I thought, can you make a journal? And as you know, uh, those who have been watching my channel, I I get an idea, and then I come and film it. So um, I don't come and show sort of products or projects that I've tried again and again uh, so but now my next step is I think it's gonna like that one's and they're not all the same size obviously that one's got like a little tab thing and that one's got an edge in hindsight um, edge pieces I think would have made the neatest journal flip thing um, and I only decoupaged one side thinking I'll do a message on the other but now I think I need to, oh, I did twice, um, I need to have them flip with little fabric strips, which I cut, um, I think, and then glue them like that, so, and then there needs to be like a signature sewn in just two places on these little fabric strips, and then you flip, um, but so next step is this is some avo dyed paper so my thoughts have only gone that far this is some avo dyed paper so now the question is whether i trace the size of the uh, piece but that makes no sense because each uh, puzzle piece is different so i think it just needs to be a general size and then it's like a, a junky junky journaly um, and the idea is just that it's just pretty things. It's a little novelty. Actually, it's not a journal. It's a tuck in in a journal. So I'm just going to tear um, some pieces roughly the size and then see how we go. I think with mini journals or mini things, uh, mini embellishments, to uh, the idea is to decorate as much when the thing is loose rather than attached because then it becomes quite finicky um, and then sorry my hands are full of ink I'll show you because I've been inking um, a Frida for a, another journal that I'm working on uh, so as always my mind is busy busy so let's get some some inserts I guess because these are now mini covers maybe it works I'm gonna tear a strip uh, like this on an A4 page so that the actual page can be almost like a zine that you fold on each other um, to make the first signature. So as you can see I've made the page um, as broad as what the puzzle piece is basically um, and I think I'll do them like this that the flat edge is the cover and then this one acts as a tab for paging. I've zigzagged um, the pages like so and then I'm going to use these little I can't remember what they're called Jackie Chandler showed them in her video um, like that and then I'm not going to embellish them because at the moment they disappear and then the folds I will use as um, tuck spot po pockets so that's the first signature it just pages I used um, this is from PNA uh, it's got a thin tip on the one side and like a, another tip, it dries very quickly, you, uh, works very nicely, dries clear, um, it's actually a glue I like a lot. So I'm going to do uh, two of these signatures because the last one doesn't get a signature, okay. 
two and then we'll have something with dangles so that's basically what it looks like now I've clipped it uh, the two signatures are just the same um, and then obviously it's it's a bit jarring now that the this is sticking out but I've got some plans um, I don't actually want to do a full spine because then I think a lot of it goes missing but now this needs to flip but still stay attached so I think that'll need another fabric strip the alternative obviously is to put a ring so that may work like a jump ring almost so it's not so small a metal ring let me see what I've got, otherwise I'll just do a fabric strip. The only ring I have is a big one, which is ridiculous. I mean, it's five diameter, but I've got this little bath chain thing. I just don't know how good or how well it will page. And because I don't have end pieces everywhere. Okay, so step one, mistake that I've made, use end pieces for this journal. Or at least uh, end piece, edge pieces for the front and back cover, and then the middle one with a page with a tab is good. But I can't catch this piece because of its shape. But I suppose I can make it here. That's actually quite cute because then it's like a dangle. Okay, we're going to do that. Uh, for that I'll need a crocodile and probably eyelets, right? So that it doesn't pull through. Okay, and this fastening also means you can add stuff or take stuff out. Okay, I've chosen some pink eyelets. Um, I'm just checking that the chain does actually go through and that's fine. And then for the, co the covers, the puzzle pieces, I'm doing the oversized ones from We Are Memory Keepers. Um, I'm going to eyelet them these ones still need decorating but i'm going to eyelet them before i decorate the back so that i can hide the metal this one is decorated uh, so i can't do that and then the paper gets small ones i think with the eyelet it'll make the movement of the journal much uh, much easier because the chain can move unhindered i'm going to use my crocodile big bite um, but of course you can use a Japanese screw punch you know also one of my favorites or just an awl and a um, little manual eyelet setter I've never tried the big eyelets on the manual but I don't see I mean it catches it just the same I don't see that it won't work of course what I did is I eyeleted the pages and now <laughs> Now they can't page, so I'm just going to take the eyelets out and um, just use hole reinforcers on them because you need the hole for the chain, but you don't want the whole bundle together. Nice one. And enforcing the holes on each page. Okay, so that's assembled, um, so it would be a little dangle, and then you can page through it's just there's now a lot of give between the parts so I think actually my initial thought of having a fabric band between the puzzle piece and the little signature would be a good idea um, even if that is then separate and then you get the next one I mean it's pure novelty there's no reason for a puzzle piece to be in here at all um, and then that's the back cover oh, if you want to call it that okay so that needs work it's, it's cute but it's totally frivolous I stopped the video halfway through so if I repeat myself sorry about that uh, where we are is repurposed puzzle pieces with little booklets in between at first I had done the booklets with eyelets, bad idea because then they can't page. 
um, what I want to do next is I've got some cosmetic things to do so because I never intended to use this as a booklet I meant it to just be altered puzzle pieces I haven't um, embellished the back or hidden the back of it and I've also gone ahead and glued the tab never mind you know me and my structuring um, and then I want to disguise the fact that the booklet is a different size that I didn't cut it to shape of the puzzle pieces so lace or whatever um, and then close up all the pockets and then I've pulled a whole lot of other recycled items because that's the purpose so there's lace from a piece of clothing there's a soap with a nice wrapping and these little rings which belong I think to eyelets except I don't know where I've got um, fabric strips this beautiful packaging is from a Lou Harvey thing that I bought at Mr. Price um, used I'm guessing I found it tucked in a book I'm guessing some old lady at some point liked it so much and then tucked it away um, I've got some vintage beads but I like the label um, this is obviously packaging this I made yesterday it's a toilet roll covered in fabric and then it was run through the embosser while it was still wet and inked um, so it's very stiff which is good um, if you want to ever emboss fabric like I did can you see that it takes the embossing very well if the substrate is very uh, stiff so the toilet rolls work well for that um, and then I've got some junk mail and then a jersey that has seen better days but I think I may do something with a ribbing and it's also quite light and I think the colors are good so let's let's start playing I've started up by just inking up the puzzle piece that was not uh, embellished with the Versafine these are lovely inks uh, the colors are good the spreads good um, all the uh, imperfections where there's gel medium or whatever gets highlighted um, I'm just going to stencil over that it would have obviously been so much better had I done it um, before I started assembling things but never mind um, I'm going to do some texture paste that I do some gold in because I did foiling on some of it. So I'm taking uh, it's Little Birdie's metallic wax and um, I just took a little knife tip of that and I'm mixing it in. So it's more of a like a putery goldy. Um, but I think it'll work. I haven't tried it before. It doesn't stop me to put it. So that's done. Uh, definitely some of the gold shimmer. And if it dries and I don't like it, um, I can just wax over it to make it golder. And then I'm starting to think about uh, embellishments. Uh, it'll be. I'll heat emboss that and put that on there. This little booklet is, I mean, I don't really have a theme yet. I'm, I'm just playing and using what I have lying around. I've dried it a bit with the heat gun and you can see the gold really comes out now. Uh, this needs to dry. I've inked the back. Uh, this is the back cover. I'm not sure what I'll do with it yet. But I'm going to turn my attention to make little tucks for... Um, these pockets now and I think they need to be little individual happy males tag on my desk let me see what it looks like yes that's a very good size okay that is a four by seven and I made this using um, a tag punch. These punches are quite pricey, but they're very handy because any length of paper can be turned into a tag. So basically, something like that you could... I'm using the Kaiser Craft uh, cover just 
making a selection of tags like that so you get a little blank at the back. Um, in the meantime I have embossed the B. Embossing uh, is also quite a good way because this was cut from brown, brown paper uh, but now it's quite stiff so it's also a good way to reinforce a uh, flimsy material. The bee needs to sit on the hive but it needs something so this is like a net it's from a uh, millinery it would have been on a hat so it's similar to what you get your onions and your potatoes in so that's another thing that you could use um, it's like fish gut almost um, so it'll sit on something like that okay so it's really I'm really just trying to incorporate uh, recycled items repurposed items unusual items and then as you can see all the tags have been cut and that was from the packaging so they are basically already they need a embellishment so with these small things and with repurposed uh, items embellish 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 unless you want it to obviously be the thing that it was I'm adding some sequins which I'm threading. Uh, the sequins, I i don't even, they're not sequins. Um, they're beads, little vintage beads. Um, I pulled them off shoes. So. Um, I'm forever like a magpie, just checking what can I find, what can I do, what can I use. Um, and that's what junk journaling is about. It's not actually about... You can do all of the techniques and the scrapbooking techniques and the card making techniques and the art journaling techniques. But the the basic thing was to, to use, I mean, junk. Um, I do think junk journaling needs a new name though. People seem to, I don't know, look down on it. Okay, so with the addition of the tags already, the shape's becoming a bit blurred and like uh, this, again, it it goes over the edges. So for now, this is from uh, clothing. So I'm going to start adding stuff that overhangs um, and that uh, so that there's no straight edges or no obvious oh, this is where the puzzle piece ends and this is where the paper begins. Had you cut your paper the size of the puzzle piece or, or more shaped, you wouldn't have had to do this. Also play with scale. Uh, so this hello looks quite big. Uh, that works well there. Uh, just check that <laughs> it doesn't like say hell or something like you know. Uh, journals in general, check how what you're putting on, if there's a peek through or whatever what it actually looks like. I think that's right. Um, yeah. Uh, just a note, if you do something like this and you end up with a pocket, just make sure that your tag doesn't encroach on the hole. These ones were fine, but purely by luck. Um, I'm making progress. I've just been uh, embossing as I, not embossing, uh, embellishing as I go. Uh, so it's either scraps, this was a jersey that I did use and that was an end piece on it, um, scrapbook page. Then I made a little pocket of the soap packaging. This is the bee, this is a ruffle of the fabric. So almost done and then I must do something with the tags but looking at it now you can see that it's far less obvious that it was a puzzle piece with pages around it so you can get quite far these are just fluffs um, you can get quite far with with using recycled items <laughs> 